You hear that? That's the sound of me not touching my bass. And you'll find that when I touch it, that sound mostly goes all the way away. Uh, so what we have is a shielding problem, and today I'm gonna try and fix it. All right, so all that we need to do this is a tool to take off the Phillips head screwdrivers to get into the pick guard, which I've got here. And then the most important part, copper foil tape. This is what we're going to coat the interior of the pickup cavity with so that the bad electricity doesn't get in or something. Okay, so I've cut off a section of tape that I'm gonna stick in there. The way this copper tape comes is it's got this uh, backing like a sticker that you have to peel off first to uh, stuff it in there. So let's give this a shot and see. Essentially what we're gonna wanna do though is come up all the way to the lip and just a touch over. None of this will be visible because it's under the pit guard. We want the entire cavity to be completely filled by copper. I think that I've got her pretty well covered now. Yeehaw. Okay, first mistake I've made here is I did not mark out holes for the pickups to mount back to. So now I'm just kind of trying to guess where these go back in. <sighs> Discovered that if you poke one of the screws down and manage to find the hole on the one side, the other side is pretty easy to, to find the other opening. So now I'm just putting the screws back in. Got a little bit of an overhang over here, but we'll just tuck that in once we get the pit guard nailed back on. There we go, moment of truth. Well, the good news is that it's really quiet. The bad news is that it's really quiet. I think I killed it. I couldn't leave well enough alone and now I've, I've killed my base. Just to make sure that everything else is working. I probably pulled something loose in there. Shoot. Got her pulled apart and I checked all of the soldering and it seems to be working. I don't know what the deal is when I have it put together why it's not picking up anything, but we'll try it again. The amp's on and I don't hear any buzzing coming out of the amp, and it works. So I did it right. I did it right. Ah, ha, ha, I did it right, I didn't break anything. And this thing is completely silent, and I cannot believe it. This is amazing, this is so amazing. I have two gigs this week, and I'm probably gonna do something that I haven't done in a very long time, which is to bring a backup bass because that bit where it was doing nothing at all kind of freaks me out. But uh, I'll check back with you in about three seconds to show you how that went. <laughs> 